The Huawei Satellite Communication Flip Why did the West announce it, then embrace it? Do you remember 2019? The Wall Street Journal, like a shark smelling blood, used sensational headlines to label Huawei an eavesdropping tool. Those biased articles, coupled with the clamor of Western politicians, sought to nail Huawei to the pillar of shame as a security threat. At that time, European carriers, swept up by public opinion, raised banners of collective boycott and shut Huawei's 5G technology out of their doors. Who could have predicted that just six years later, the tide of global opinion would undergo a stunning reversal? In 2025, the Wall Street Journal dedicated an unprecedented full page to champion Huawei as the outdoor savior. The article listed countless real-life cases of people rescued thanks to Huawei's satellite communication technology, with every line filled with praise. Meanwhile, the European carriers that once shunned Huawei 5G are now lining up to test Huawei's satellite calling feature, with boardroom discussions focused on deep cooperation with the company. This dramatic reversal, more absurd than a carefully crafted Hollywood script, begs the question, what story of technological breakthrough and geopolitical maneuvering lies behind it? Huawei's satellite calling is fundamentally different from Apple's. Apple's satellite SOS is like sending a distress telegram. You can only select fixed options to send to rescue agencies and cannot receive a reply. Huawei's, however, is like making a satellite phone call, allowing direct voice conversation. Even the smartwatch can send voice messages letting the rescue team immediately hear how severely you are injured and which rock you are behind. What's even more revolutionary is the affordability norm. Throughout the long history of telecommunications development, satellite phones have always been labeled a sky-high luxury item, with equipment costs often in the tens of thousands of dollars, deterring ordinary consumers. Even a company as powerful as Apple offers its satellite SOS service not as a free lunch, each use can cost $10, and the function is relatively limited. The arrival of the Huawei Mate 80 marks a milestone in industry change. It boldly broke through technical barriers, deeply integrating the satellite communication module into the phone body, requiring no external accessories, truly achieving. One device in hand communicate across heaven and earth. Even more surprising, Huawei generously gives users 300 minutes of free satellite call time equivalent to equipping every user with over five hours of life insurance. Experienced outdoor adventurers have found through careful cost accounting that buying a Huawei Mate 80 for the price of a regular smartphone provides the dual protection of daily communication and desperate survival. This is akin to getting double insurance for one's travels. From now on, whether traversing uninhabited primeval forests or climbing the thin-aired peaks of snow-capped mountains, the Huawei Mate 80 can be a reliable lifeline, making the term out of contact disappear entirely from the outdoor lexicon. Behind this are three perception-shattering secrets. Why did Western public opinion flip? How did Apple's emergency card lose? Why are the regulatory bans quietly easing? Let's uncover the truth. I, from security threat to outdoor lifeline, the change of heart in Western media in the 2019 Western media landscape. Huawei was a monster. The US took the lead in shouting. Security risks. The UK's The Guardian hyped the data eavesdropping theory. And German media even fabricated fake news about Huawei equipment leaking military secrets. At the time, European operators who dared to speak fairly were pressured. Vodafone's CEO stated flatly that Banning Huawei will delay 5G by 18 months, and was immediately criticized by U.S. politicians for being pro-China. In just six years, the direction of the wind completely reversed. In August 2025, a reporter for The Verge crossed the U.S. Death Valley with a Huawei Mate 80 and successfully made a 12-minute satellite call in a no-signal zone. The headline directly read, This is the most reliable piece of outdoor gear I've used all year. The UK's Daily Mail went further, conducting an extreme test, throwing a Huawei phone onto a deserted island in the North Sea, where it successfully contacted the rescue team, while an Apple phone's satellite SOS was stuck on the signal-searching interface for 20 minutes. 
The shift in Western media's opinion leadership did not stem from a self-reflection on values but from the market demand breaking through ideological constraints. Looking back at the 2019 public discourse, negative evaluations of Huawei mostly focused on abstract concepts like geopolitical security risks and tech sovereignty rivalry, which were detached from the everyday lives of ordinary users. After the shift in 2025, the focus quickly changed to concrete application scenarios such as satellite communication technology successfully rescuing stranded mountaineers and providing basic communication guarantees for remote areas. This dramatic evolution of the media ecosystem fully confirms the practical logic of technology empowering social development. When innovation can genuinely solve pain points for the public, existing ideological biases will eventually be deconstructed by the mechanism of market choice. 2. Apple's Emergency Card Loses to Huawei's Routine Card Utility is the hard truth Apple launched its satellite feature a year before Huawei. The iPhone 14 satellite SOS in 2022 was initially praised as black technology, but users in the West quickly began complaining. The U.S. outdoor community, Explorers Alliance, reported that in 2023, 37% of users said their distress message was sent but vanished without a trace because it only allowed fixed options, making it impossible to convey crucial information like I'm at the bottom of a cliff or my leg is broken. The charging model was even more frustrating. After the first free year, it cost $99 annually leading users to complain. You need a subscription to save your life. Huawei simply paved a wider road. The Mate 80 uses low-Earth orbit, LEO, satellites instead of high-Earth orbit, HEO, satellites, reducing latency from several seconds to hundreds of milliseconds, like switching. From sending a letter to making a video call. Mark, a U.S. search and rescue team leader, wrote in Outdoor Magazine. Last time we rescued a lost hunter, the Huawei phone directly transmitted the voice, I have a heart condition and need nitroglycerin. We brought the right gear and saved 40 minutes, something Apple cannot do. More critically, there's the price. Huawei's basic satellite calling functions are free, and a heavy user annual package is only $29, less than a fraction of Apple's cost. The product positioning of satellite communication features is distinctly different between Apple and Huawei. Apple positioned it as a premium feature for high-end models, while Huawei focused on daily practicality and emergency needs, integrating the technology into more users' lives. In the utility-focused Western market, a service that offers both cost-effectiveness and high-frequency usability is clearly more appealing to consumers than an emergency function that emphasizes premium status. This confirms that in the tech sector, Product strategies aligned with users' real-world needs are often more market competitive. 3. The secret to easing the ban, regulation can't fight. Voting with your feet. How harsh was the U.S. crackdown on Huawei? In 2019, it was placed on the entity list, requiring U.S. companies to get a license even to sell chips to Huawei, and allies were pressured to ban Huawei equipment. But in 2025, the picture sharply changed. The U.S. Commerce Department extended the temporary general license for Huawei for the third time, allowing companies to cooperate with Huawei on satellite technology. Germany even openly stated that no security risks were found in Huawei satellite equipment, tacitly allowing carriers to test it. Behind this is the pushback effect from users in the West. Farmers in remote U.S. regions jointly petitioned Congress. Huawei's satellite capabilities allow us to make calls and transmit data in the fields. We can't farm properly without it. Raptor, a major European outdoor brand, listed the Huawei phone as recommended gear, leading to a 300% sales surge. Crucially, the data tells the story. In Q3 2025, sales of Huawei satellite phones in Europe exceeded 1.2 million units, with 80% of users being Non-tech enthusiasts, driven entirely by word of mouth. No matter how rigid regulators are, they cannot withstand the collective opposition. The U.S. used to consistently use security concerns as an excuse. 
Now, however, farmers working in the fields, mountaineers, and residents of remote areas are all demanding. We want to use Huawei. And some businesses claim they will lose hundreds of millions without it. When viewed this way, those so-called security reasons were completely spurious and unsustainable. This situation also serves as a warning to tech regulators. Ultimately, technology serves the public. If regulation focuses solely on suppression and ignores people's actual needs, it will inevitably be severely slapped down by the market. Now you should understand that the reversal of the West's attitude towards Huawei is not about sentiment. It is the inevitable result of utility overwhelming politics. When a technology can help ordinary people seek rescue in the wilderness, enable seamless communication for farmers, and double rescue efficiency, even the most stubborn prejudice will collapse. If you have used Huawei satellite features or witnessed a similar true fragrance moment in technology, please share your experience in the comments. Want to know what other black technologies are hidden in Huawei's satellite tech? Follow me, and I'll uncover them in the next episode.